Money Monday, sponsored by Gulf Credit Union. Well, of course, we know the heat has been a problem and we know gas prices are up, but this Money Monday, we're looking at how one problem is actually leading to the other. NBC's Dana Griffin with more on how the extreme heat is costing you more at the gas pump. Have you noticed prices at the pump climbing? It's not a mirage, but as the country sizzles under sweltering heat, so do our wallets. I've been going to work every day watching my gas tank go down, and I've been watching the gas prices go up. Gas prices have spiked, averaging $3.75 a gallon according to AAA, 16 cents higher than last week, but still cheaper than a year ago, with California once again approaching $5 a gallon. Experts say cuts in production are to blame, but so is the record-breaking heat. You've got a lot of refineries that are coughing and wheezing. They're not really geared to run with 10 or 15 days of 100 degree temperatures in a row. And as we move into peak hurricane season, the industry fears prices will continue to spike. When a hurricane enters into the Gulf of Mexico, supplies can be disrupted, resulting in higher gasoline and diesel prices. How is this going to impact consumers? I expect that gasoline prices are going to continue to rise another 7 to 10 cents a gallon. And that means the cost to deliver goods and services to the consumer is going to increase as well. I have to take money out of grocery to make sure I have gas to get to the store. Mm. So it's like it's like a lose-lose situation. For now, the only hope for drivers is to figure out a way to spend less time on the road until prices come back down. Dana Griffin, NBC News.